This new analysis comes after months of work, arguing and marathon hearings about the maps themselves from the public. And this analysis also says it could violate federal law, which could have an impact on just about every voter in the state. Back to the drawing board. That's the advice from the state's Department of Civil Rights, which sent in a scathing new look at the new maps of Michigan's changing political districts, the state losing a seat in Congress after a drop in the population. The maps from the state's Independent Redistricting Commission look like this. Originally five, they were whittled down to three in a meeting at the beginning of the month. The maps under consideration do not measure up to the requirements of the law and do not meet the test of fairness and equity that should be the goal of this commission, said the analysis author, Dr. Jerome Reed. Under federal law, the commission has to draw districts that don't take voting power away from majority-minority communities, particularly in cities like Flint, Hamtramck, or Detroit. It's meant to make sure every voice and voter has a chance to be heard, impacting everything from school funding to the pandemic to jobs and public safety. In response, a spokesperson for the commission saying, quote, we trust the council received from our voting rights attorney. This comes, too, as the University of Michigan says the census undercounted tens of thousands of Detroiters this year. Mayor Mike Duggan talking about those findings on Flashpoint with Devin Skillian. One of the things that U of M showed was that the post office uh, was delivering mail to far more houses than the Census Bureau found. And if they had just followed the postman, they'd have had a better count. The clock is also ticking. Because of delays in the census, the commission has had less time to work out these new maps and are expected to vote on final maps starting December 28th, with midterm elections not far off. And Dr. Reed said there is time to redraw these maps, but the clock is ticking and there will likely be legal challenges no matter what happens with these maps from across the spectrum, which means this fight is far from over. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.